Hello everyone, welcome to DRC Racing and today we have the RXGT DRC Special Event. Yes, this is a very special event indeed. The DRC will be kindly hosting the top RXGT drivers from the Season 3. If you don't know what RXGT is, it's an eSports competition that runs on PlayStation and Gran Turismo Sport. The top 8 drivers from Season 3 will be featured here today. Let's see what they can do outside the video game, shall we? My name is Kurt Denninger, the owner of RXGT, and I will be your commentator for today. We have a bunch of new cars here, different cars today. They were all sent all the way from Japan by RXGT to the DRC Racing for this special event. We have a mixture of Hot Wheels. There are two Hot Wheels here today on the track. It's beautiful Audi and a Lancia Delta. And all the other six cars, they are all Majorette. I think it's going to be the first time we have Majorette here at the DRC. Let's see what they can do with all those fancy suspensions they have. So, since it's the first time most of these drivers will be here at the DRC, let's have a quick look at the rules to make sure everybody knows how this works. You've got to get all the way down to the bottom of the mountain and cross the finish line to score points. So you get 4 points for the win and then 3, 2, 1 all the way down to the 4th place. If you do not finish, you do not get any points. And if you get the jump across the line, you have to completely clear the line and get 1 extra bonus point. So you can score a total of 5 points per run, a total of 20 at the end of the 4 laps. Since we have 8 drivers today, we cannot put all of them in the track at the same time. So we're going to split them into 2 groups of 4. So we have group 1 and group 2. And then the top 2 drivers in each group will be going through to the finals. Right, enough with talking, let's get to racing. We have the top 8 fastest drivers from RxGT. Let's see who they are. Robe from Greece driving the Audi R8 and representing KSCR GP. He's a defending champion in RxGT. Can he do it here as well? Socrates, also from Greece. He will be driving the legendary Lancia Delta Integrale. He, this is one of the only two Hot Wheels machines here today. And he finished second place in the RxGT Season 3. Also from Greece, we got Don driving the Toyota Celica GT Coupe. And he got the bronze medal home from season, season 3 and Ralph Rod from Brazil he's driving the 94 Audi Avant RS2 he represents Myth Esports and he just about missed the podium at RxGT he definitely wants more than that this time Victory Reign hailing from the United Kingdom and he will be driving the Nissan Sephiro 831 with some proper racing livery that is he represents the car of the week team and he's also known as a tricky Vic. Pellegrino from Brazil will be driving the Ford F-150 truck and will be trying to get over everyone else and go for the win. He drives for the UDI Sports Brazil. Pickerick, all the way from Canada, he will also be driving a truck. This is the Toyota Hilux Revo, also with a super nice racing livery. I wonder if that makes the car any faster. And he represents Rutherford Motorsports. And last but not least, we have Mateus from Brazil, who just about secured his position here at this DRC event, finishing 8th place at RxGT. He will be driving the Honda Civic Type R, and he's very famous for going big or going home. Let's see what's gonna be today. And there they go, Ralph Ron with a very fast start, but he gets past by Victor Rain, turn 1. As they come into a narrow section there, this is big ring three front, but oh, but the jumps, he rolls and everybody piles up. We're gonna have a full DNF here, but wait a minute. That's Ralph Ford, he keeps moving. He gets past, leaves everyone behind, lines up the jump, and whoa, Tony Hawk across the line. A 360 move, let's see that one more time. He lines up the jump, goes for a 360 and clears the line. That's a bonus, ladies and gentlemen, the first bonus of the night with a 360 jump. Look at there. The only man to cross the line. Let's have a look again at the replay. Victor Ring had a very comfortable lead. 
into the jumps, the suspension of his car failed him, he rolls, blocks the road, everybody piles up, but Pickerick with the heavy truck pushed everyone and Ralph Rod managed to get moving again, the car had stalled, but that is it, he's the only one to cross the finish line and he gets the full 5 points including the bonus point from the jump. Lap 2, they switch positions, 2 out is up front, Robe with a good start, but that's Ralph Rod again, gets away right from the start, Pickerick squeezes Victor Ring in the wall, they come to the jumps, a mistake from Ralph Rod, Robe goes around the outside, gets the pass, lines up the jump, and there he goes, Ralph Rod and Pickerick, we are missing someone, let's have a look at the replay, that pass from Robe around the outside, a little bit of assistance from Pickerick, and that's a, an Audi 1-2 there with Robe up front, the champ is back but does not get the jump, does not get the bonus. Ralph Rod flies across the finish line and look at Pickerick as well with the truck. That's a super flying truck there I guess. Three men cross the finish line, we are missing victory ring again, what happened to him? We don't even see him in the replay, he's that far back again, maybe he's having problems with the jump one more time. We see the mistake from Ralph Rod. And Robe around the outside, and I think Vic Ring got stuck there after the jumps. Let's have a look at the scores. And as Ralph Rod with a nine point lead over Robe with four, and Pickerick with three. Lap 3, there's Pickerick and Robe up front, there's a very good even start between both, but Pickerick squeezes Robe again against the wall, they come into line a bit of a fight between Ralph Rod and Victory Ring at the back, Pickerick opens a huge advantage and over the jump he goes and clears a gap, Robe, oh, he crashes out, Victory Ring and Ralph Rod jumping at the same time over the canyon, look again at Pickerick as he comes. Clear, huge advantage, clears the line, no problem, that's a bonus for him. Whereas Robe, there he is and he crashes out, there's no bonus. Did he actually cross the line at all or not? Victor Rain, the Sephiro, no bonus. And Ralph Rod, no problem with the Audi RS2. Clears the jump, look at them there, having a rest after a very hard fought race. Let's have a look at the replay again at the start. Pickerick with the squeeze maneuver one more time, no shame at all with that truck, and you can see Ralph Rod bullying uh, Victory Rang out of the way, Robe did some problems there over the jump with the Audi, it's not very well made for jumps like this I guess, but the truck no problem, huge jump and that's Robe over there, let's see the score and no he does not get points, he did not cross the line. The zero points for him, that's gonna hurt his chances, the champion is at risk here. Only 4 points against 13 from Ralph Rod. That's 3 laps down now, Robe needs a perfect score if he wants to have a chance to advance to the finals. Pickerick with 8 points, he's just there. And Myth Ralph Rod with 13, he's got enough advantage, he's guaranteed in the final already. On to lap 4, that's Pickerick and Victory Ring up from Victory Ring with a great start, opens a gap. Now just a little bit, can he get over the jumps this time? He had problems in lap 1 and no he can, he's out. That's Ralph Rod also out and Pickerick all by himself gets a jump one more time. Robe also with a jump, clear, clear over the line. We're looking at Pickerick one more time, very careful there, down the big jump. Clears the line, that's a bonus. Robe comes right behind him, also a clear bonus there for the champ. But it's a little bit too late for him and look at that. Victory Ring and Ralph Rod both on the roofs. Let's have a look one more time what happened there. Victory Ring had a great lead just like in lap 1 but that car cannot handle those bumps really well. That truck in the other hand is made for this. And look at this, look at the score, we have a tie between Pickerick and Mid Ralph Rod, but that doesn't matter. Both equal in points, they're both first and second, so they both going through to the finals. 
Victory Rain had his uh, had a very fast car, but unfortunately problems with the handling and the champion Robe goes no further. Here are the standings for Group 1, that's Pickerick and Ralph Rod, both with 13 points and they are advancing. And that's goodbye for the champion, Robe and Victory Rain. So we have some interesting results there from Group 1, we have one Hot Wheels through already out of two here at the event. Can we have two Hot Wheels in the finals? So that's 100% of them here beating the Majorette. Let's see. Going into group two, we have Domi Tacos here in the Toyota Celica GT. Socrates in the Lancia Delta, the other Hot Wheels. Pellegrino in the Ford F-150, another truck. And Mattel's in the Honda Civic Type R. Let's get racing. Lap 1 for the Group 2 guys, and that's Domi Sakos with the early lead in the green car, but gets passed by Pellegrino with the truck. Socrates is falling behind a little bit, and Pellegrino rolls, Pellegrino rolls, gets collected by Socrates, and now that's Dom and Mateus down by themselves, and no, Mateus decided to pull the brakes, pull the handbrake there before the jump, what happened, let's see the replay again, that's Dom there, lining up for the jump, Mateus looks clear to get a beautiful jump, but he gets scared, Don with a clear jump over the line, gets the bonus point. Let's look at Don here again, all by himself at the finish line. I don't know what happened to Mateus, he was going so well, so fast. Decided to pull the handbrake there, I think he's afraid of the jump. Let's see one more time from the start. Pellegrino a great lead. Uh, Socrates fighting with Don, his cousin there, lost a little bit of time, got overtaken by Mateus. Pellegrino all by himself, crashed over the jumps. Looks like this truck is not so stable like um, Picorix ones. Lap 2, we have two Greek drivers up front and Socrates with a great start. And don't chase him behind, gets a pass and blocks it. They're gonna hit Socrates from behind, they come into the bumps now. Don with a huge hit and Socrates jumps in, into the air. Coming behind, Don slows down, lines up for the jump and there he goes. Who's coming next? That's Pellegrino and Mateus again in the ravine. Pellegrino gets the jump. Let's have a look one more time. Don had a huge ability. He takes his time. Lines up the jump. Very careful. Goes for the jump. Gets the bonus there. Over the line. Clean. And then we see Pellegrino coming a little bit wobbly. Sideways. Does not get the bonus. And Mateus again with a handbrake. Not a very good start. That's two DNFs in a row for him. We didn't see Socrates, what happened to him, let's hit, see again in the replay. He gets blocked by his cousin, gets hit behind from, um, from, from Pellegrino in the truck. And then they come here into the narrow section, into the, into the jumps, the bumps here. It goes really high, maybe the suspension picked up some damage from that contact earlier with Pellegrino. Into the second part of the jumps, he spins. And there he is, maybe he had terminal damage to his rear suspension, there got stuck in the corner and another DNF for Socrates as well. You see again the moment that Pellegrino hits him hard from behind after uh, Don blocking him. Jumps really high with the rear into the air. I think the, 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 the rear suspension there got some damage and that's very unfortunate for him. But as Don Mitsakos there with two wins out of two, that's 10 points for him and three for Pellegrino and that's two big round numbers for Socrates and Mateus. Lap 3, both drivers at 0 points up front and Mateus with a good start, Pellegrino gives him a shove, opens the trunk of the Civic and they come into a line, the two Brazilian is up front here into the bumps Mateus with a good start but Pellegrino shoves him out of the way takes it in, his, his boot is now open, sorry the front of the car is open gets the jump, Pellegrino works, Mateus, Mateus is there, Don pushes Mateus over the jump Mateus there was struggling before had a bit of help from Don this time. Here's Pellegrino, gets the jump done, clears the line and takes the bonus home. Where's Mateus? You see, he comes skidding again. He was not going to make it. Don crosses the line first and Mateus backwards there, picks up two points. We did not see Socrates again in the Lancia Delta. We see here the three drivers that have crossed the line. Mateus finally picking up some points, but that's 13 for Don there and 8 for Pellegrino, 0 for Socrates.
let's see again in the replay what happened. So that's the Civic there with the back open through the corner and Socrates was spinning a little bit at the back. Mateus there keeping the lead and they come into the bumps. Mateus loses control a little bit, Pellegrino pushes him out of the way and you can see in the background that Socrates flying around there and I think the suspension damage in lap 2 he could not get past the jumps and he ends up in his roof. Alright, so that's lap 4, the final lap 4, group 2. And that's Pellegrin in the truck with a very good start. He storms to the front, opens a huge gap. He's too fast even for the camera to keep up. There he is, he's back. Hits the wall, spins but keeps going backwards. And over the jump he goes and there's a clear jump. Domitakos gets done as well. And Mateus for the first time gets the jump all by himself. No help this time. Well done Mateus. Let's look again at Pellegrino backwards over the jump. With the front of the car open one more time. Does not get the bonus point. Domitsakos gets the jump backwards as well and gets a bonus point. And then Mateus a little bit further back for the first time. Manages to get through the finish line by himself without help from Don. I think Dom taught him a few things there in the in lap three. He learned and picked up two more points. But look at that, Dom Mitsakos with 17 points, 17 out of 20 points. That's a huge score there from Dom, and he guarantees his place into the sem into the finals. Into the finals he goes. And Pellegrino is also through with 12 points, four for Mateus. Zero for Socrates, nowhere to be seen. It's a shame because that Lance Adelt is a really fast car, but maybe the short wheel base here doesn't do very well with the DRC. Gonna have to try again next time. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are joining us now, welcome to the RXUT DRC special event. And it's time for the finals. Here we have the four drivers that made it this far. They're very fast guys in the PlayStation at RXUT. Let's see how fast they are here at the DRC. We have Domitakis in the Toyota Celica GT, Picoric in the Toyota Hilux Revo. Pickerick in the Ford F-150 and Ralph Rod in the 94 Audi Avant RS2. We have two trucks here, we have two Toyotas, we have three Japanese cars. Let's see who's gonna take this one home guys. First lap of the finals. That's Don and Ralph Rod up front and they get to the lead. Ralph Rod with a great start but gets a hit from the side. All cars side by side here into the narrow section. Don gets a pass Pellegrino as well. Ralph Rod backwards and over the jump and all of them, all the four drivers get through the jump for the first time tonight. That's Domit Sachs with a great lead and gets the bonus done. Pickerick, sorry that's Pellegrino first. Pickerick third and Ralph Rod in fourth. Pickerick he managed to pass Ralph Rod in the air. That was a great jump there, all the four drivers through, you see Ralph Rod starts really fast but then loses control, takes a huge hit from Don. They come into the narrow section here, piled up, Pickerick closes in, Ralph Rod going backwards there, loses speed as uh, Don managed to get past Pe uh, Pellegrino as well. And they all very close here for the first time, this is why this is the final, this guys are super fast as 5 points for Don and 4 for Pellegrino. What a start here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We have a race in our hands. All right, that's lap two and it's an even start, but Pickerick storms to the front with an early lead. Nowhere to be seen the competition. He's very comfortable in that part of the second. This truck is made for this and gets a huge jump. Don is on Pellegrino. What happened? He pulled the brakes. 
Pellegrino hits the brakes there, he doesn't wanna, wanna end up like Mateus there in the bottom of the ravine. Let's look again at the replay, that's Pekorik there in the orange Toyota truck. Super comfortable with the jump, the biggest jump of the night. Pekorik flying over the line, gets a clear bonus there, should be worth two points that one. Don Mitsakos just about there, a bit shy and Pellegrino came backwards there, hit the brakes, did not want to end up in the ravine but we put the cones in there while we send the rescue team to get him out of there let's see again what happened at the start a little bit bumpy there at the gate and i think ralph rod had a gran turismo bug where the car gets stuck and cannot get off the line if you guys play gran turismo you know what i'm talking about let's see here again as pickwick with a Huge gap over the bumps there. This car is absolutely made for this. People were laughing at him for picking the truck, but who is laughing now? Well, I guess Pellegrino is being laughed at actually. Uh, with the cones at the bottom of the ravine and eight point. Lap three, we have both trucks up front, and that's Pellegrino with an early lead there, followed by the other Brazilian, Ralph Rod. Huge lead by Pellegrino over. He does a barrel roll. And Ralph Ford cuts the corner, Pellegrino not happy, happy hits him. But that's Ralph Ford with the win. We see Don finally now showing up quite late to the party. Let's see one more time what happened. I'm not sure. We see that Ralph Ford takes the win there, gets the jump ahead of everyone else. Does not get the bonus point, but that's Pickerick there with a super jump. One more time crossing the line and getting the bonus. Pellegrino as well. But I want to see what happened there before. That's Ralph Ford there with the win. We see now Don. He got stuck at the start again. The, the famous bug there with the start line. Just about crosses the line there on his roof. Scratching that beautiful Toyota. All the four drivers cross the line here. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's see here what happened again. In the replay, I've got some word here from, from the stewards. You see, Pellegrino does the barrel roll there, and Ralph Rod, he intentionally cuts the corner there beautifully. And I'm being told, let's look at the score here. And Ralph Rod does not get any points. He's disqualified from that win because he cut the corner. That is not allowed here at the DRC. And he's disqualified. Ladies and gentlemen, what a turn of events. It's the final lap and Pickerick is three points ahead of Don. He's in the back row, both in the back row. Pickerick gets stuck. Ralph Rod there, P Pellegrino with an early lead. He can still win, he can still be champion here. He keeps the lead, lines up for the jump and fails to get the bonus. And Ralph Rod and Don, Don, is, Don is out. Don is out. Let's see again the replay. Pickerick. Sorry, Pellegrino there. Lines up for the jump. Beautiful. He had a lead. He has to win. And he has won, but he did not get the jump. Ralph Rod flies into the parking lot. There's a no bonus for him, but he didn't even cross the line. And Don Mitsakos, who had everything to be a champion there, down in the ravine. And Pickerick, he's stuck. He did not finish. Pickerick is out of this one let's see again the replay of the start you saw that he got sucked there really slow and Pellegrino with a huge lead at the start he could still be champion he was a few points behind Don but could still win had he won this race let's wait for the final results as he beautifully goes around the bumps there these two trucks amazing cars we're looking again at Ralph Rod on his roof, the only Hot Wheels to have made it here to the finals. Unfortunately for him, ended up in his roof as Pellegrino there. We're looking at it again. We're getting the scoreboard and see where Pellegrino and Pickerick stand. And there's Pickerick with 13 points, Pellegrino with 12. Had Pellegrino got the bonus point, it would have been a draw. But ladies and gentlemen, we have a champion.
Vickerick from Canada representing Rutherford Motorsports. He takes the RXGT DRC Racing Special Event. Congratulations, Vickerick. You are the new champion. Huge congratulations to Pickerick for the win and what a battle that was. All the guys here really fast. Pellegrino there challenging to the last second one point difference there. Well done to all the drivers but Canada man Pickerick takes this one. A big thanks to the DRC Racing for hosting this amazing event. All the drivers here they come from the PlayStation straight to the DRC a new territory for them but I'm sure they had a lot of fun and I hope we can do this again in the future. If you enjoyed the event please leave us a like, subscribe to the channel and if you'd like to know more about RXGT there's a link in the description. I'm Kurt Denninger, your commentator and thanks a lot for joining us today. DRC Racing, an exciting diecast racing experience.